In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a photograph and make it look more like a drawing. The first thing I do is make a copy, and I do that by selecting Ctrl J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. So you'll see here we now have a new layer, and I'm going to call that Pen and Ink. To be able to do this, you'll need the latest version of Photoshop Elements, which is 11. So go to Filter, Sketch, and I choose Pen and Ink. I'm going to choose the first one, the basic blue, and I'm going to put the detail high, and we're going to put in also a little bit of darkness, not too much. We're going to up the fill. Maybe just a little bit more. We don't want too much white in there, but we want a little bit. That's good. And perhaps a little bit more contrast. And OK that, once you're satisfied. And you can play around with all the settings. I find the blue works quite well, but you can again change the colors and see what a difference that makes. And then what you do is you go to the blending options and you choose luminosity and there you have more of a drawing now if you find that's a little bit washed out sometimes good to add a levels layer and just make it a little bit darker so that's my first drawing now it's quite important that you choose a photograph which is quite sharp and in focus. Let's try another one. This works quite well because of the monkey's fur and there's quite a lot of detail. You've got the grass. So again we make a copy Control J or Command J on the Mac. You can rename it. In this case I'm just going to leave it now but it's often good to rename it and give it a sensible name so that when you go back later you can remember what you did. I then go to Filter, Sketch, Pen and Ink. And again we choose the basic blue and again I put the detail right high. And in this case I'm going to put in a lot of the width. Maybe a little bit of darkness as well and a bit of contrast. Let's get some fill in there. And again, I want to just leave a little bit of white. Let's have a look and see if we put the width in. Depends on whether you want the detail to be quite fine or quite thick. So if I want the detail to be a little bit finer, you turn the width down. Let's have a look at a little bit more darkness in there. Again. Depends on how fine you want the detail. I think I'm going to leave that as it is. And I'm going to go OK. Then I change the blending mode to luminosity. And this has worked really well. This looks more like a drawing actually than if we go back to the butterfly. That had a, a lovely smooth effect, but this has more of a, a drawing effect. So it does vary depending on the picture you choose.